ericgibo.com and today I'm going to present you two VND filters by KF Concept. One is from 2 to 32 and the other one from 8 to 128. So this is one stop up to five stops and three stops up to seven stops. So I'm going to show you what you use them for and the quality you get. So let's start. As always with KF Concept products, well presented magnetic box as you can see, okay. Open here, more paper, some instruction in there, okay. And here you have the box, easy close, okay, well protected. Here's the filter, I think it's, uh, for being a, a VND, it's quite slim, I think it's okay, okay. So uh, both are the same, uh, just uh, the, the amount of uh, uh, filtering is different, okay. So as you see, uh, the presentation as always is uh, good and well protected. So uh, some data, technical data before going any further. Uh, as I said, from two to 32, this is uh, one stop to five stops. And from eight to 128, this is three to seven stops. They use Japanese glass on this filter. I know some other uh, filters by KF Concept, they use uh, German glass. In this case, all the Nano X uh, seems to be a Japanese glass, okay? And they have a multi-layer, 28 layers. Uh, this is more than other filters they have that have uh, 18 layers. So these 28 layers are going to help in many ways. One is to be waterproof. So some people think, what can happen to glass if it gets uh, water? Nothing, no? Yeah, nothing. But your picture may have a problem or your video. Why? Because if a drop of uh, water stays there, you will see it on the picture or in your video. In this case, the coating uh, helps uh, uh, the, the drop of water to slide, so it will get off without having to clean all the time. So it's really good. Same thing with dust, it's uh, dust repellent, all this. So that, that's really useful. It's also anti-scratch and uh, very important, it's uh, no cross. Uh, many people don't, maybe don't know, I explained in other videos, I'll leave you here, I, I've tested some uh, VND uh, filters by KF Concept before, but, uh, the problem with the ND filters, not this brand, any brand, uh, really they're not ND filters. That when it's VND, there are two pearlizer and they cross them, and the more you cross, the darker they get. The problem at some point, you get like a really dark cross in the middle of your picture or in the middle of your video, and that's a problem. In this case, you don't get it. Why? Because they use uh, the gradia gra graduation uh, within the space without the cross. Then there is a, a physical stop, so you don't get to get uh, you don't get this cross uh, in the middle. Okay, so that's really good, which is uh, the problem in some uh, VND filters. In this case, you don't have this problem. So uh, the quality is really good. The frame is aluminium uh, alloy. It's really good. It means you won't it won't get rusty with years or this. This is really a good product that you will be able to keep for years. Okay. So, so now let's show you how it works and the results you get. Oh, really good question. Why use uh, VND and not fix ND filters? Well, both have their advantage and the, the cons. Okay, pros and cons. Well, if you use a fixed ND filter and you do video and I'm doing like some kind of panning and sometimes it's a lot lighter and the one is, uh, another time it's a lot darker, then uh, I cannot change the filter. So I have to use my uh, aperture to change the amount of light that gets in. And it means that it will also affect the depth of field. So as I actually do some panning, the depth of field is changing. So that may be a problem. Uh, so for that, it's a lot better to have a variable ND filter. So as you record, at the same time, you can fine tune the amount of light uh, changing uh, the graduation of the ND filters, just turning it. So it's a lot better. In photography, yes, you can use a VND filter, but, but it has to be really good quality. Why? Uh, because in video, you need good quality too, but there is movement, there is action. So maybe there is a slight bit of vignetting and you don't notice it because you're already uh, following the movie to another part, but in photo, it stays there. So it must not have, the vignetting must not be there and also no cross because then the picture is uh, fixed and there's nothing to change, okay? So there's nothing coming next to, to, to make, make you forget about that, okay? So it's really important that you can use both. Uh, many people use a VND filter uh, for photography because uh, for budget reason, they don't want to spend uh, money on two or three or four filters, so just have one, okay? But in my opinion, both are good, depends what you're doing. And at the end, I think everyone has both. If they do video, they have VND, if they do photography, very often they use uh, fixed uh, ND filters. But okay, so now let's show how it works. 
So first I'm going to do a demo uh, with video, then after I will uh, do pictures. So why use an ND filter when you do video? Well, normally if you want to have a cine aspect, cinema aspect of your uh, video, uh, your shutter speed should be twice the amount of frame per second. If I record at 25 frames per second, I should uh, have the shutter speed at 1 50th of a second. What is the problem? The problem is I've just locked my speed, okay? 1 50th of a second. Second, maybe I want to have a given depth of field, so I've used my aperture, like I'm on f8 right now, but I don't want to close more than that for any reason. I want that f8. So if I cannot touch my aperture, I cannot touch my speed, the only way to drop uh, light is to drop my ISO and maybe I'm already on the minimum. So the way of doing it is to put an ND filter. So right here, uh, I'm going to show you uh, when you do like, um, I'm on F8 and without any filter, I'm 1 500th uh, of a second. So uh, you will see that it's not smooth at all. I pass my hand here. Okay, and as you can see, it's not smooth. Okay, as you can see here, also I didn't put any ND filter, so you see it's like tack, 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 like this. So now I'm going to record with an ND filter, you'll see the difference. So, how do you know which uh, filter you need uh, to use right now? Well, it's easy, you just have to count. I was on uh, 500th of a second, and I need to be on 150th of a second. Uh, 1 slash 50th of a second, okay? So, I just count. One, uh, 500 down to 200, uh, 250, sorry, one stop, 125, two stops, 60, three stops, 50 is uh, three stops and a third, okay? So I'm going to use the two to five stops, okay? The uh, ND2 uh, up to, uh, sorry, one stop to uh, five stop, ND2 up to ND32. So I'm going to place it. I'm going to start recording so you actually see the effect. I put it on 1 50th of a second, I place a filter, okay, now uh, if you see I'm overexposed right now, so I'm going to turn the filter until I get the right exposure, okay, it's about here, okay, three and something stops, okay. So now it's properly exposed. You see how easy it is. I just turn and I get it. I move my hand right now. It would be better if I was a bit further, but I would fall in the water, okay? So I just move this way, okay? And as you can see, it is a lot smoother than before, okay? So why did I pick this 2 to 32? Just because for what I'm doing right now, that's fine. But uh, if I was moving around like this, and it's really sunny right now, uh, ND32 would be too short. So uh, it would be better to have the other filter. So when you're in bright light like this, maybe it's more logical to have three to seven stops. So if you do some panning right now, you get against the sun, you can actually close uh, light enough, okay? So this is why I think uh, these uh, filters, uh, both together is a great video kit. Because uh, if you have not much light, you use these uh, one to uh, five stops, and there's a lot of bright light, three to seven stops. I know, you may say, why did you present it some month ago, uh, one that was from uh, 2 to uh, 9 stops, something like that. Well, they're good also, but I do think that uh, the image quality or the quality is always better when uh, you, you uh, cover less, same as zoom lenses. Uh, it's not the same thing, a 24 to 70 than a, a 24 to 200. Quality is not exactly the same, but it's not just thing of quality because the other filter I tested was really good also it's also because it's more precise when you have short so uh, a short uh, range of uh, NDs okay so when I move here it's a lot more precise than if I have to turn a lot all my uh, filter to get to the extreme okay so I think it's a great piece of kit for a videographer to have both okay so now let's speak about photography Okay, for photography it's a bit different uh, because normally I use that for a long exposure. I also sometimes use it uh, when I don't want to do high sync using flash, but that's another story. You could actually use it, okay? But right now what I want is drop speed as much as I can uh, to have a smoothie, uh, uh, silky water, okay? Uh, the problem is normally I don't do that at midday. So uh, in that case I would use a lot stronger ND filter. But I'm going to use on 7 stop and calculate. First I make a picture to, uh, to have a to drop the speed quite a bit, actually uh, close a lot my aperture. Normally I would not do that, okay? And I am on F16 and on 1 25th of a second, okay? So I make a first picture, so I have an idea uh, how it is uh, without any uh, 
fi filter. Okay, I'm going to put the horizon a bit straight. Okay, so here I go. Okay, first picture. Okay, and now I'm going to place the filter. So I have to calculate, I was on 1 25th of a second, so 1 60th, one stop, 1 30th, two stop, 1 15th, three stops, uh, 1 8th, four stops, 1 4th, five stops, half, six stops, one second, seven stops. So I drop to uh, seven, to one second, sorry, seven stops. Okay, here I am, and I made a picture. It goes. Normally you should get this tight or remove it and don't touch the camera or put the uh, timer one, uh, two seconds or 10 seconds, okay? Or use a remote control, whatever. But uh, for the demo purpose, you have an idea of what you get with one second exposure, which is not bad. So it means, yes, you could actually use it for long exposure if at midday. So uh, you could maybe use a stronger ND filters. Normally that kind of picture I prefer to do at sunrise or sunset, okay? But as you see for photography, it works too. Well, all the testing, I've done it with my Olympus OMD EM5 Mark II with the zoom lens 12 to 40 2.8 Pro. Okay, so 62 millimeter diameter. So my conclusion, well, I think that's great. Uh, I presented as if it was a two filter kit. It's not actually a two filter kit. You can buy them separately. Uh, yeah, you don't have to buy them together. But I think presented together, it gives you an idea that oh, even if they uh, overlap each other, it's good to have two kind of filters like this, you would really cover many things. There are some people uh, who want to travel and they don't have much space to have several filters. So I think it's good to have uh, all in one or two filters like this to really uh, travel light and still be able to make video and pictures, long exposure and things like this. So as always, I'm really impressed by uh, the quality. Uh, KF Concept sends me gear like every month or every month and a half or sometimes closer, okay? and. It's always great. I think the, the, here I've got this tripod, the other one that I bought from them. Uh, many filters I've tested. The quality is really great and many people comment and they're really happy with uh, this uh, gear. So honestly, I, I think this is fantastic. So I can only recommend it. By the way, I don't know when you see this video, but uh, I, there is a, a link in description where you can buy it and a discount uh, uh, code uh, for a special Saint Valentine. So, uh, I don't know when you buy, but if you're within this uh, Valentine uh, dates, you get an extra discount, 8%, I think it is. Okay, so use it. So that's it. Thank you very much, KF Concept, for sending me the gear. Thank you very much to you for watching the video. If you feel it may interest other people, please share it on social networks. If you have not done it yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's a small button down here, a small bell. If you click on the bell, get notified when I upload a new video. My website, erichipo.com. If you have any question, can leave a comment below. I'll also leave you links of my gear on Amazon, links to everything I've reviewed by KF Concept and Sandmark, and a link to my PayPal account in case you wanted to make a donation. Thank you very much. Please take care of yourself. Mm -hmm.